Good evening. I'd like to call the Board of Adjustments meeting to order. Um, today is December the 19th. Our um, first order of business is approval of the minutes. <clears throat> Making a motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, aye. 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 Um, motion um, carries unanimously. Our first order of business is BOA 22.15. It's lots 12 and 14 School Street. And staff will give us a report on it, please. Thank you. All right, the applicant who is here, R. Winston Smith, is requesting a five foot variance to the driveway side setback requirements as well as a variance for the three-foot separation to the side lot line to allow for a shared driveway on adjoining lots. This looks a lot like one that you guys have approved earlier this year on Edel Street, which is kind of in the same neighborhood. It's the same concept. So the location is lots 12 and 14 on South School Street. They're currently vacant, but there is a plan to develop them, which is further on in the presentation. So it is zoned R2, which is medium density, single family residential. So you can see in the pink highlighted, that's what they look like. It's this house is not involved, but it's a bigger lot and that's what they look like. That's where they'll be. So the applicant is requesting a variance to the driveway side setback, which result in a 10 foot side setback instead of a 15, as is called for when a driveway extends past the front of the principal structure. And the shared driveway will be designed to be pervious geoweb or concrete. That's something we can look at when they start building it. Uh, table three, two, which is following, state's driveway should not be within three feet of the side lot line, hence the variance from the required three foot separation. So they make the request due to the smaller than average lot size for R2 zoning and it's relatively steep topography. So there's the table, it has, you can see 75 in the dimensions and these lot, both these lots don't meet those. There is the site plan. Here's the proposed drive where the mouse is. And I think that the numbers on this one read 12, but it'll be different because that's part of the recommendation, which Winston's okay with. So we recommend approval of <coughs> BOA 2215 with the following conditions. The driveway shall be made from pervious material and approved by the planning department. The driveway shall be split among, along the common lot line, five feet on each side. Driveway should be a maximum of 10 feet wide and to provide a 20 foot ingress egress easement between lots 12 and 14. The end, happy holidays. <laughs> what are the sizes of each of those lots? Is it 76 on one and 51? I think it's 62 or is the other one. It's on this thing, on this one, I believe, and I'm honestly not wearing my specs, but I think it's 76. Yeah, you're right, Neil, and then 50 something. So, we're, can you describe where the, that 20, last requirement, the 20 foot ingress, egress easement, is going to go? Is it? where the shared driveway is? They actually, Winston might be able, because he's done this subdivision, they have from School Street an ingress and egress easement that gets you to those backs, because these are 309B mm -hmm. and 311C. And so, and it starts, I believe it's partway, partly down that side, and it just needs to be ex extended to get to these lots. So, okay. So what you like have, you there. have the existing easement to get through these lots of the right. historical lots to get back. This is adding the easement where that shared driveway will be to give the lot for lot 12 and 14, those owners permission to use that driveway, which will be a hat split half and half on each other's yeah. lots. Okay. Uh, are the two lots considered flag lots? No, ma'am, they are no. not. These are historical lots that were part of, the, I think, the Central Park edition, the right. Fairhope platted uh, back in the 50s or 60s. Um, and they, these were designed and intended to front upon fells and due to the topographic and the drainage area of the backside of Fells where that is, Fells was never extended through and is right. reasonably understandably that it's not going to be <laughs> extended without some serious uh, 
engineering and bridges and different things <laughs> like that. So the only way to access these lots is via an easement to get back there to them. And I in the packet too, there's some easements that are already recorded that you did when you developed it with. So when y'all approve, you approve this as a sub, I guess you didn't have to do subdivision or anything like this, that. The subdivision it already, was in the, yeah, it's already, existing, existing lots of record. So there, there's no issue as far as fire access or anything going back to the <coughs> That would be at building, the building department review, they would look at the distance for separation. Yeah. I, I mean, just access for the access fire truck, for the fire truck. They get back there. We looked at all that when we first started building over there. Eric Cortinas looked at it, and we had to measure the distance to the fire hydrant. Mm -hmm. Make sure we were within, I think it was 200 or 300 feet. Okay, well, that, will the applicant come up if you don't mind? You'll state your name for the record. Mr. Winston Beamer. Smith. Is there anything you would like to add? Or um, no, I appreciate it. Um, you know, the lots are, I mean, I think the hardships are, you know, they're narrow. Two narrow lots are both at the front, which is really kind of the rear because the front is facing fells, uh, which is where we built the rear of the houses that are existing there. So there are two houses that already exist there, and these two in the middle will be new hopefully starting next year. But um, so the, the lots are really narrow, they're on a slope. Um, we've got the drainage in the back, which is more of a drainage ditch than an active, you know, creek or anything. But um, so we're kind of squeezed from, you know, the sides and front to back. So, uh, and the slope, those three things really make it tough. So that's why we want to do this driveway down the middle to be able to get cars, you know, do drive under garages, basically to build basement houses with drive under garages. And, um, you know, with the requirement for the 15 feet, that really makes it tough. The house would have to be, you know, 20 feet wide, which is pretty tough. <laughs> is there any questions for the applicant? All right, thanks. We'll now open the public portion. Is there anybody from the public that would like to speak for or against it? We'll close the public portion. And um, is there any discussion with the board members? Mm -hmm. um, Staff had some questions about uh, approval with conditions. What what are the conditions you were referring right to? It's on, it's oh, part just, of the recommendations. Okay, just, those four. Just, just those. Yes. Those. Yes. Okay. Making a motion to approve with the conditions. Second. Okay. All in favor? We'll take a roll call vote. Aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. Okay, thank you. All right, is there any other? Um, do we have a meeting for next month? We do not. Nothing not for next month. Any applications uh, submitted for next month. Okay. So take, take, take a month off. Okay, great. And do we have a motion? We get a holiday to, break, huh? To adjourn. So moved. All right. Thank you. We'll see everybody in February. Okay, happy holidays. Thank you. Happy